Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh, we hope that you um, had a great weekend so far. Very welcome to our CCC Bible class. And if it's your first time, my name is Erna. My name is Martin. Martin Johan or MJ. And we hope that you enjoy you enjoy today's class with us. So um, I also just wanted to remind you, you know, sometimes, especially in this coronavirus times, we feel alone. We feel sometimes a bit afraid or uncertain about how things are going to work out. But remember, God is always with you. Okay. God is in control. He knows what's happening and he's with you. Okay. He guides you. He makes a plan. So um, let's, the other thing that's also a very good thing to, re to remember is that we can talk to God. You can talk anytime to God and tell him how you're feeling. If you're afraid or scared, okay, you or sad, you can talk to God anytime. How do we talk to God? Can you remember, MJ? Mm, singing and, and praying. Yes, when we sing and when we pray. So we are now going to pray and sing, talking to God. So please remember, it's not just, oh, uh, we are praying praying and singing we are talking to god okay to jesus god who loves us so <clears throat> let's start by praying let's close our eyes dear lord jesus thank you for this morning thank you for being able to join in this online bible class and thank you lord that we know that you are always with us and you love us and you care for us and you are in control we pray that you will bless this Bible class and our time together and that you will help us to learn uh, what you are teaching us today. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. So now we're going to sing a song. So Martin Johan chose this song. And uh, maybe you don't know it that well, but hopefully... You will get to know. No, we'll sing it about three times. And um, the song's no, name two, is two, 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 no three. The song's name is Riau Lebua. So if you don't know, Riau Lebua means I thank you, Lord, and Modimu Wa Rona Rona means our God. So we are thanking God when we sing this. Okay. So I think some stand up. Let's stand up and let's sing this song. Are you ready? Riau Lebua. Ria ule buha, ria ule buha, modi muwarona, ria ule buha, ria ule buha, ria ule buha, modi muwarona. Last time, ria ule buha, ria ule. Okay, great. Great, guys. Uh, I hope next time you'll someone know the song much better. Okay, if you don't know it yet. So let's quickly recap. Who can remember what we learned last time? Let me help you a little bit. What is in that picture? Let's see. I see people walking. What do you see, um, MJ? People walking through the sea. People walking through the sea. Look at the waves to the left and the waves to the right. And what else do you see? Fish. <laughs> Little fishes. And who can remember who's that person in front that's leading the people through the sea on dry ground? Can you remember, MJ? Moses. 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 So let's quickly recap what we learned last time. We learned about the Israelites that was in Egypt and they were slaves. They had to work very, very, very hard. They were really very despondent and they didn't know what to do. And then God said, well, let me lead you out of Egypt. But the Pharaoh didn't want them to go. There was 10 plagues. But in the end, there was a miracle. Okay, God, a lot of miracles, actually 10. But in the end, God said, the Israelites must put the blood of a lamb on their doorposts. 
And then their children won't die. And the Pharaoh then said, okay, just go, just go, please go. And the Israelites fled out of Egypt. But then they came to this big sea. They couldn't go through the sea. They couldn't swim. They would drown. And behind them were all the Egyptians coming back because what happened? Pharaoh? Change your mind. Pharaoh changed his mind again. So when they stood there, they were complaining and saying, Oh God, why did you take us out of Egypt and now we're going to die here? But then God made a miracle. Okay, The sea parted and there were big waves to the left and big waves to the right. And the Israelites walked through the sea on dry ground. That was a great miracle. Okay, now... Let's see, um, the other thing we did last time is we also did a memory verse. Can you remember that memory verse? Let's see, let's remind you. It's from Exodus 6 verse 7. Let's say it two times. I will take Thank you as my own, own people, people and I will be your God. God. Let's say it again. I will, will take you as my own, own people. people. And I, I will be, be your, your God. God. So if you haven't um, re, um, learned it yet, please go and tell your mom and dad, remind them that you have to learn the verse Exodus 6 verse 7. Okay. But now, I wonder. We've now told each other how God saved the Israelites. First, he led them out of Egypt. And then... He saved them by letting them walk through the sea on dry ground. So after these amazing ways in God, no, no, please don't. <laughs> after these amazing ways in God, in which God saved them, do you think His people would forget Him? No. Imagine that. Imagine you see the sea part. Do you think you would ever forget what God did for you? I forget sometimes. Do you forget sometimes? Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's quickly play a game about forgetting. How it works is, okay, I'm going to say, for instance, stand up if you ever forget to brush your teeth. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So if you ever forget to brush your teeth, you have to stand up like more than you want just did. So let's try it. Next one. Stand up if you ever forget someone else's name. So if you sometimes forget a friend's name, stand up. Oh, Martin Johan says he doesn't. If you are standing, you can sit down again. Stand up if you ever forget your own name. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hopefully most of you are still sitting down. Okay. If you're not, sit down, please. And remember your name. Okay. Stand up if you ever forget a friend's birthday. Uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes we forget birthdays of mm. our friends. Always. Okay. <laughs> okay, sit down again. Stand up if you forget some if you sometimes forget your own birthday. No. Never. Okay, great. Uh, uh, no, no, you no, don't. I don't. No. no I okay. Don't, no. If you're standing, you um I hope you know your can remember your name and your birthday. Otherwise go please ask your mom and dad when is your birthday? Stand up if you sometimes forget to go learn the memory verse. Okay. Yeah. If you are standing, you must please go. Remember to go and learn your memory verse. Ne? Tell your parents to help you with that. Stand up if you can remember what was your Christmas present last year. If you, oh, sorry, if you forget. <laughs> so if you, I forget. If you forgot what was your Christmas present last year, you have to stand up. And Martin, you want to stand he forgot what his pre Christmas present. Okay, you can sit down again. Next, last one. Stand up if you ever forget what God is like and how much God loves you. I know, I, I know what, my, what was my mother's Christmas present. Okay, but now we, back at the, ne the last one is, do you sometimes forget how much God loves you, then stand up. And you know what? We should all stand up. Because we all forget how much God loves us. Look at the Israelites. They forgot how God led them out of Egypt. 
They were moaning and complaining at the sea and they forgot that God is with them. He's in control and he rescues them. Okay, so yes, we all sometimes forget how much God loves us. Now, in today's story, we're going to learn about something that we call the Ten Commandments. Okay, so let me, if you can't, if you haven't heard this before, and this may be your first time, then listen very carefully. Otherwise, if you know it and you've heard it before, you are welcome to to try and remember them by saying them before I do. So the first one is, you shall have no other gods before me. So that means that God should be number one in your life. Number two, it looks it too looks like someone bowing down. It says, you shall not make any idols. So don't bow down to anything but God. God must be the most important in your life. Number three looks like lips. You shall not take the Lord's name in vain. So don't use your lips to dishonor God. Okay, We must really honor God with everything we say. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And that means that there must be a day in the week where we rest and where we focus on God's word and coming to church, being with God's people, our fellow believers, our friends at church. Okay? Spider yeah, there's a spider web at the Bible, and that means that we mustn't neglect the reading of our Bibles. There mustn't be spider webs on our Bibles because we don't read it often enough. So read your Bible, pray every day. Remember that song? Okay, number five. <laughs> There's a mom and a dad there in the five. It says, honor your father and mother, but also respect them, love them. And not only your mom and dad, but everyone that's teaching you. Also your teachers. Number six. What's that? A bomb. A bomb. You shall not murder. But that doesn't only mean that you mustn't kill other people. It also means that you mustn't gossip behind your friend's back okay you mustn't kill with words number seven you shall not commit adultery that means we mustn't leave broken hearts okay your mom and dad should love each other and it must stay that way they mustn't break each other's hearts oh what is number eight it's a it's a a thief yes. <laughs> yeah so you I, shall I not kinda, steal i kind of forget yeah. You mustn't steal. You mustn't take what's not yours. Number nine, you shall not lie. Now, that is a funny picture. It's a lying nine. But you must speak the truth in love. And number ten, you shall not covet. That means be happy with what you have. Look at that the little, the little man in the one. He's looking at that ring and he wants that ring. Okay. But the Lord said, we, says we must be happy with what we have. Okay, you will see also on your activity sheet that these Ten Commandments are on there as well if you want to go and learn them. Okay, so let's go to our story. Storybook Bible. <laughs> yes, we read from the Jesus Storybook Bible and um, we, we read from it with the, with the permission of Harper Collins. Christian publishing. So today's story is titled is 10 ways to be perfect. Are you ready? Let's read. <clears throat> so there they all were. Grannies, granddads, babies, uncles, aunts, children, moms and dads. Out there in the middle of the desert. They had blisters from all the walking. They were hungry and thirsty and much, much too hot. We don't like it, they say. It stinks. <laughs> and so did they, for that matter, because no one had taken a bath in weeks. Now remember, because this is something they'd forgotten, God had done amazing things for the people. He'd hidden them inside a cloud. He'd moved the sea. He'd set them free. But God's people still weren't happy. They didn't care about being free. Wasn't it better than they were slave? Were, 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 that better when they were slaves? At least they had lots of nice food to eat. God doesn't want us to be happy, they said. 
It was the same lie that Adam and Eve had heard all those years before. God has brought us out here to kill us. God doesn't love us. But they didn't know God very well, did they? Every day of their journey, God kept on showing his people how, how well he would look after them. If they would trust him and obey him. When they were hungry, God made the sky rain with food, bread coming down from heaven. What is it? They asked each other. They didn't know, so they called it, what is it? <laughs> Which, of course, is a very good name for something when you don't know what it is. When they were thirsty and started quarreling, God made water flow from a rock. Moses called that place quarreling, because that seemed like a good name too. And still God's children didn't trust him or do what he said. They thought they could do a better job of looking after themselves and making themselves happy. But God knew there was no such thing as happiness without him. So God led them to a tall mountain. God wanted to talk to his people and show them what he was like. He wanted to help them know him better and tell them about the special land he was going to give them. The whole earth belongs to me, God said, but I have chosen you. You are my special family. I want you to live in a way that shows everyone else what I'm like, so they can know me too. God, God called Moses up the mountain. The great mountain shook. A thick cloud fell. Thunder roared. Lightning crackled. And God gave Moses ten rules called commandments. I want you to love me more than anything else in all the world. And know that I love you too, God told them. That's the most important thing of all. In fact, I think it's so important I want to repeat it. God said, I want you to love me more than anything else in all the world and know that I love you too. That's the most important thing of all. God gave them other rules like don't make yourselves pretend gods, don't kill people or steal or lie. The rules showed God's people how to live and how to be close to him and how to be happy. They showed how life worked best. God promises to always look after you, Moses said. Will you love him and keep these rules? We can do it. Yes, we promise. But they were wrong. They couldn't do it. No matter how hard they tried, they could never keep God's rules all the time. God knew they couldn't and he wanted them to know it too. Only one person could keep all the rules. And many years later, God would send him to stand in their place and be perfect for them. Because the rules couldn't save them. Only God could save them. So tell me, Martin Johan, do you think it's easy to keep all those ten commandments? Are you able to keep all ten? Do you never lie? Do you, ne do you always listen to your parents? Okay. Are you always nice to all your friends, even those people that's not your friends? Okay. Do you remember to read your Bible and pray every day? Okay. Do you remember to only love God and no one else? Or not no one else, but love God above everything else. Love God the best. Okay. So we all forgive it, forget it, man. We all we we struggle to keep those ten commandments to obey God. Okay. Good so, but the, here's the thing. God knew that we won't be able to keep all these rules. Okay. So what did He do? He sent someone. Who did He send? Can you remember? He sent Jesus and. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. So because Jesus died on the cross, we know that now God took our punishment because we can't keep the commandments. So I want you to now 
go and check. Uh, hopefully, your mom and dad or dad could print the the um, the activity sheet for you. You you will see. There it is in the story. The people promised to do everything God had said, to obey all the Ten Commandments. But no matter how hard they tried, they could never keep God's commandments all the time. Again and again, they would forget what God is like. Again and again, they would not obey His commandments. God knew this and He wanted them to know it too. God wanted them to remember that He is the one who saves them. Obeying the commandments cannot save them. Only God can save them. But there is someone who did obey all God's commandments all the time. Who was it? Moses. No, who, uh, no, Moses didn't. He got very angry at stages. Who obeyed all of God's commandments all the time? It was Jesus. Jesus, Jesus did. Jesus, okay? Jesus. So please go and color that picture of Moses carrying the Ten Commandments. And then please go and learn the Ten Commandments. Okay, and, and, and remember, God gave us these rules to help us, okay, to help us to how to love him and follow him. And what is that? <laughs> that's just the little, the little you that's uh, learning the, no. the Ten Commandments. Okay, last time, let's quickly repeat our memory verse, then I'm going to love you and leave you. It's from, remember, it's from Exodus 6 verse 7. It says, I will... Take you as my own people, and I will be your God. Last time, I will take you as my own people, and I will be your God. Great, guys. Hope you enjoyed this time with me and MJ. Oh, okay. And um, please join us again next week. And uh, let me know if you can't print the, the activity pages, then I can make a plan to bring it to you. Otherwise, ask your mom and dad to print the activity pages before the lesson. Okay, guys. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye. 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 <laughs>